Hello, I'm Danielle Chauvet. I'm your knitting coach and I'm the owner of Knitting Nicely. Today we're going to learn how to sew two knitted squares together using a tapestry needle. Here we go. So here we have our two knitted squares and we're going to get a length of yarn that's about three times the length of each of those squares and then we'll cut it and then put a um, tapestry needle on it. So this is the um, way to join two knitted squares using a tapestry needle and there's actually lots of different ways to do it. This is just one of the more simple ways to do it. Um, and so here we go. First we need to find the little V's on the edges of our work. See that little V there and then the little V, V, and also on the other edge, this is a side edge, the other was a cast on edge. See that V, V, V. On the side edges, it's not as easy to find them, but if you look carefully, you can find them. So we're gonna put our, our, our tapestry needle through that first V and through the first V of the other side, and then go ahead and pull that through but you're gonna leave a little bit of a tail because you'll need to weave that tail in when you're done uh, sewing the two squares together. So I usually leave about a six inch tail. And then you need to find the next V, or you need to actually put it in through the same two Vs, okay? Now you're gonna move up to the next V and make sure you get the, the next V, you don't skip a V, and just keep, keep on going. Now. Um, normally the cast on or cast or bind off stitches are going to be um, more than the side stitches so you'll have to what's called ease your stitches that means sometimes you'll have to um, go through your your side stitches more than once um, as you go through your cast on or bind off stitches only once each time and I'll walk you through that as I'm showing you this. So we go through this one. Um, that one would make it angled, so we need to find the one that's straight across. So it's right a straight across, always straight across as you're going up. So that one's straight across, so we can go through that next one. And pull it through. And this one is straight across, so we're gonna put it through that one and pull it through. And now this one, we're gonna to have to go through that same V that we did last time because it's still straight across. So we did two V stitches from the cast on and one V stitch from the side. Now this one we move up again because it's straight across. This is straight across, so we go ahead and use that one. It turns out to be every around third or fourth uh, stitch that you have to go through twice on the side. And that one, go up one, make sure you get both sides of the V and pull it through. And you just continue to go all the way up the entire length of your knitted squares. And make sure that um, you are making them even so every once in a while check to make sure that they are lying flat and even at the top so that you don't end up getting any puckering or um, binding together okay so go all the way up to the top when you get to the to the end and you're at the edge of both then you're just going to take off your tapestry needle and then on both sides the top and the bottom you're going to string your tapestry back onto the needle and um, you're going to weave in the ends on the back side. So whenever I weave in, I go up and down on the purl bumps on the back side. So down, up, back down, back up. And I'm using a blue yarn because that way you can see what I'm doing really well. It's a really big contrast to what I'm knitting together. But in your case, you may want to use a yarn that's closer to the color of your knitted squares. Unless you really like to see your seam because that could be a design element for your blanket. So there you go.
Once you're done, um, you can see it's a very nice flat seam on the front as well as the back. There's no bulky seaming. There you go. Thanks for watching. If you are enjoying Knitting Nicely's videos, you can hit the like button and subscribe so you can catch all the great knitting tips. Have a great day and happy knitting.